do with Antifa. It has to do with everybody that's been in controversy to our cause. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, you guys should listen up to this because this has nothing to do with white, this, black, yeah. Hispanic, anything. This yes. has to do with values. This has to do with values. I have the right to say what I want to say. I have the right to defend myself for what I want to say. I've met tons of people, Chinese, black, Cuban, Hispanic, every single background. I've met people. This is the, this is the only place in the world where we have left to call home. There was a Cuban immigrant who said, who was with two friends of mine, and he was telling them what it was like to live under Castro, and they said to themselves, we don't know how good we got it. And he said to them, how good you've got it. I had a place to run to. I had a place to escape to. And that said it all, because this is it. This is the last place on earth. Either we defend this home that we have, this bastion of freedom, we take a step and we subject our children and our children's children into a thousand years of darkness. We can't let that happen. We can't let that happen, right? Save America. We can't let that happen. No. It doesn't matter whether you're white or black or Hispanic or Indian or whatever. American values, and that's what these anarchists, these paid terrorists, te these terrorists, they're fucking terrorists. You're goddamn right they are. They're terrorists. Antifa, you're fucking terrorists. And, they get away with it too. and you get away with it for now. What but you're not going to get away with it for long. Because whether through law or through the social contract, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. Period. And I swear to God, I never wanted this fight. I'm not a martyr. I didn't fucking want this. But I'm calling it out right now. I'm telling you, you're a bunch of fucking pussies. <laughs> they and we are. will they're fucking beat you. Pumps. I'll put them in the eyes. I know they're punks. We yeah. will fucking beat you. What is a terrorist? A terrorist is somebody who uses intimidation for political means and coercion. That's exactly what they, they try to do. They use violent and criminal means to advance their political agenda. Exactly. And that's what we need to advance in our cause. They like to call us Nazis, right? Nazis. Him and I, we recently went to NYU when Gavin McGinnis was serious. talking about it, right? We are constantly called Nazis, racists. You're not a Nazi. You are not Nazis, too. Exactly. You're not a national socialist. Okay, okay, but like you know the I'm reason they use those words? Fuck you. you know I'm not the a Nazi. They, they use those words Nazi, racist, I I because they're emotionally charged. They carry a lot of baggage with them, right? And they know that. Whether they know it or not, they do it. Right? What we need to do as a movement, we need to speak the truth. First of all, the truth. They are terrorists because they're using violence. They're fucking setting cars on fire, busting windows, attacking people that had, that didn't attack them. They're not trying to people that don't even oppose yeah, yeah, the fuck. Yeah, yeah, they're using violence well, and criminal means to they killed somebody to advance their political agenda. They're terrorists. That's what the fucking definition of a terrorist is. They call us Nazis. We need to call them terrorists because that's what they fucking are. And most and second of all. Terrorists, like Nazi, carries bad things with it, right? So if they want to fucking use these emotionally charged words against us, we need to do it against them. But unlike them, they're using Nazi racists in a very disingenuous way. It's not right. It's not true. But we'll use terrorists against them because one of all, first of all, it's true. Second of all, it carries that same meaning. And it's true. And we need to promote this on social media, in person, on signs, in voice. You know, well, we need to carry there, this. There's a reason why I read We need what to I, spread this There's truth. a reason why I read what I read. Because it's true. And it holds right now, beyond the fucking Iron Curtain and the Cold War, to right now, exactly what we face. There is a price we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance. We've got the numbers. This is a country based off of liberty and freedom.
You think 4chan is just like some fucking fun meetup site? It's liberty incarnate. This is America. This is the place where your fucking voice can be carried. You know what happens in the fascist state, in the dictatorium or the totalitarian world? It's snuffed out. You're thrown into a chamber where nobody can see you again. These places. Yes, exactly. For what you believe or for what you and think. Or for even just what you say. Dictatorship. Get off your fucking computer. Yes. Get around you for once. Exactly. If this were a dictatorship, the news media wouldn't be able to criticize Trump. They'd be thrown against the wall in the shop. Exactly. I live and in fucking China for and once. And he'd get away with it. Does he? No. No. He, he just trolls them in front of them. He can't go to the fucking restroom without someone finding a way to criticize the way he takes his shits. <laughs> you know? It's true. It's true. I've got media fucking, uh, media, uh, liberal media sources on my phone. Washington Post, uh, uh, New York Times. The point, the point is, the point is, CNN, et cetera, the point, and they all are doing what you're saying. The point is this, is that this is the freest place in the world, and we all know it. And everybody that's watching us knows it. That's why they crashed Antifa's site twice. That's why they hacked their Twitter twice in the last 48 hours. Because we know that this is the last place on earth that we have a chance to express ourselves freely. If we lose this, there's nothing left. What else is left? What else is left? England? England where they're for arresting people for being quote unquote racist? I don't think so. Australia? Where they took away their guns in 96? I don't think so. There's nowhere else left on earth. This is the last place. We need to promote freedom here. We need to promote freedom abroad. We need to cherish the place that we have, and we need not to take it, take it for granted. If we don't, we subject our children and our children's children to a thousand years of darkness. We can't let it happen. It's not a battle we ask for. It's not a fight we want, but it's the fight that we were given. We need to fight with every last inch of ourselves. I never wanted this. I built my life up for a good life. I wanted something nice. This is not what I had. This is not what was in the cards, but it's what we have here. It's not an American revolution, it's an American renaissance. And we need to fight every fucking bit, tooth and nail against anybody who would have us cow down against them. I was at NYU. I had fucking pepper sprayed, sprayed in my eye when Gavin was there. The same pepper spray that hit Gavin hit me. And hit him too. Fucking, this is no joke. They want to silence us. They want to use intimidation and violence to try and suppress us, to try and demonize us, to try and make it that they have complete political hegemony. We're not going to fucking let it happen. I'm telling you right now, you're a bunch of fucking pussies, and I'll fucking kick your ass. One way or the other. This is fucking are. Brooklyn. And, and, and I don't give a fuck. Thing. I agree with 99% no, of what you said. And here's one thing. I'll slightly disagree with. Here in New York, we don't have the numbers against them, right? There's way more liberals and dumbasses than there are Trump supporters. And people of logic, and most of all, have a, an awareness of the actual interests of America. But, you know, one of the things I came to realize the other day, when I went with him and the other crowd boys, with Gavin McGinnis, and my we were surrounded, I would say, fucking five people. We were surrounded and there were about, about 10 to 15 of us to about fucking 200 of these guys. And you know what? I wasn't scared. You know the reason I wasn't fucking scared? Because I know, man, I grew up around a lot of rough guys. I, I was locked up twice before I turned 13. So, I know what tough is. You know, I thought I was tough before I got locked up, right? And then I figured out it wasn't really, right? But I figured out what tough was. I've been jumped a lot in my life. I'm used to being outnumbered. I served in the army, you know, and went to Afghanistan, was used to people trying to kill me, whatever, right? But you know what was weird? I, was, I wasn't scared at all. I kept my head on a swivel. You don't want to be fucking stupid out there, right? You don't want to be like, 
that dumb hot chick that fucking talking to a reporter and gets pepper sprayed or fucking get fish yeah. right? So I had my head on the swivel. I wasn't scared, and I'll tell you why. Because I looked into these guys' eyes. They might have had those fucking bandanas on, but I looked into their fucking eyes, and I talked to them. I confronted them. And I realized a lot of them were fucking kids. And the rest of them, they're fucking punks. Not pussies, punks. They'll hit you when you're not looking. They'll attack you when they feel you're vulnerable, feel you're weak. If I knew the guys I was with, I knew him a little bit. I just met the other guys. But I felt comfortable because I knew these guys were real men. They were strong. They had my back, I had their back. And I tell you what, man, I'll put my fucking bottom dollar on this. If there's 10 of you strong guys that are willing to fucking fight, throw fists, defend yourself, defend the brother to your right and left, that's better than a hundred of those fucking pussy ass punks that are out there. Right. <laughs> and that's all I gotta say, dude. It's right. Oh yeah. Right, man? They will not fucking divide us. God damn right. He will not divide us? No. You will not divide us. Fucking Soros? Fuck you. Go back to fucking Hungary. They'll shove it up your fucking ass, you coward. Fuck you. As for Antifa, you bunch of anti-fags, fuck off. This is fucking real New York, all right? We're not going to be cowed down and intimidated by you. Fuck you. And you want to come say something in my face? I'll be right fucking here. I'll fucking rip that bandana and shove it so far up your fucking ass. Your whole fucking head will be like, what gender is mine? What gender is mine? <laughs> Fuck you. He's going to be your fucking president for the next eight fucking years. Suck a dick, bitches. We're out of here. with your fucking bandanas collecting a goddamn welfare check and your motherfucking Soros bonus. Fuck you. And if you fucking, if you're a fucking socialist, there's only one message for you. Get fucking out. surrender. Because you're not gonna fucking win here. Hella this concerts. is our fucking streets. Alright? This is our fucking streets. You get that fucking straight, come see me. Fuck you.